Hey, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, merge mods in Dark Souls Map Studio. Um, this is with the assumption that you already know how to mod the game, so you have Mod Engine already installed or Mod Loader. Uh, you're going to need Mod Engine for this because you have to uh, be able to edit the regulation bin inside your Mod folder. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to merge them just in case you like you get uh, most mods in this game come with regulation folders and you're going to need to be able to merge them to be able to make multiple mods work so this is uh my base uh regulation bin which is already inside my mod folder uh right here so if you go inside my engine and you can see my regulation bins already here uh i'm going to do map for goblins i've already merged it but i'm just going to take you through the steps like i'm doing it so Let's say they only give you the regulation. I'm going to show you both with uh, CSV files that they give you and with just a regulation. Uh, let's say they just give you a regulation bin and they don't give you CSV. What you're going to do is you're going to open up a new project. Just call it whatever. Uh, let's call it test. And then you're going to make a project directory. This is going to be where the regulation bin is. So, another ring. And then... Uh, map for goblins and you're just going to select that folder and then you're going to choose the game executable which is inside the game folder Elder Ring, and create that and yeah i'm just gonna do that because i've already done it so it's just telling me that i have it already uh so after that you're going to go to param editor and to find anything that they've already modded as you can see uh this is green because that's what the modded files are so you're going to, to go and just press modify and that shows everything that's already modded so type in modify then go to bonfire well just go wherever it's modified so it'll be green and you see right here only this is modified so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste because we're gonna need that <laughs> boom and that's all modified so after that, just gonna select them all, Control A, edit, export the CSV, quick action, entire param file. Or you can do the uh, selected roles, so selected roles. So if you want to do like the ones you selected, just do selected roles. And then after that, uh, for some reason, it's supposed to save it as a CSV, but it never does on mine, so I have to actually type it in. So I'll just type in a uh, bonfire dot. I'm doing this with one hand, CSV. It's supposed to save it as a CSV because, you know, it says save type, but it just never does it for me. So I have to do that. So after you do that, you're going to go to your base folder. open up my base <laughs> just have two projects open at the same time so you can uh, go back and forth between them open up your base one and you go to your parameters all that stuff and then you figure out what you've uh, changed so on here again it was bonfire warp parameters so we're gonna type in bonfire warp parameters I've already done it like I said but uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to edit and then import the CSV from file. And then, you know, there it is, bonfire. And then you're just gonna add that. I'm not gonna add it because I've already done it, but you're just gonna add it. And uh, if it's, if they give you the CSV files, then that means it's just, it's just gonna, you're gonna cut out a few steps and just go straight to this. So if they already give you a CSV file, you're just gonna go to your base and then figure out what the CSV file, because they'll, they'll name it something. They're going to name it what you're going to need to change. So on this one, we can go and see that they gave me one that's called Special Effect VFX Parameter. So, okay, well, I need to find that. So we're going to go VFX Parameter. So right there, it's switched. And then you're just going to go edit, import from file, and then there you go, special effects. And then it's going to swap that out. And that is, it's pretty much that. That's it. This is literally the whole thing. After you're done with that, you're just going to save the parameters. And that's it. It's super simple. 
I've already done like five mods already. And that's all you gotta do.